welcome to my kitchen, y'all. This is David Locke, and this is my blog, Boots and Bow Ties, a blog about everything cooking and gardening. And today I'm gonna teach you how to make one of the easiest and simplest pasta recipes. I'm gonna teach you how to make my creamy lemon pasta sauce, which you can use on any store-bought pasta, but I'm also gonna teach you how to make homemade pasta. Homemade pasta could not be more simple once you've mastered just a few techniques. The ingredients for the pasta could not be more simple. It's essentially just four ingredients, flour, three eggs, a little bit of olive oil, and a little bit of sea salt. And then as far as the pasta sauce goes, you're gonna need the juice and the zest of one lemon. That's why I've got my lemon press here and my um, nice plain. Um, you're also gonna want some Parmesan cheese and then just a little bit of garlic powder, salt, and pepper. One thing that you will need if you decide to make your own pasta, which I'm gonna show you here in just a second how to make, is you will want a pasta maker. This is my KitchenAid pasta maker. It fits into my stand mixer and then allows me to extrude the pasta. And then I can use this fettuccine maker or linguine maker and it will actually extrude and cut the pasta for me. And then we can put that in salted water and it'll be ready in about three minutes. Then we'll take our pasta, put it over in the sauce, put a little bit of fresh shaved Parmesan on that, and then a little bit of fresh parsley to garnish. So let me show you first how we make the pasta. My wife and I are huge fans of the British Baking Show, and I can't tell you how many times I've seen them make pasta, and I have seen them knead and knead and knead the dough for 10 minutes. One of the reasons that you knead dough is that when you take flour and you mechanically knead it, it builds these gluten chain molecules. And the gluten chains are what allow the pasta to be stretched and cut and boiled. But with these two simple tools, I've taken all of the hand work out. I don't even hand beat my eggs. I start first in my KitchenAid or stand mixer with a paddle attachment and simply put my eggs in there, beat them a little while, put in my two cups of flour, a little bit of salt, a little bit of olive oil. And then when the dough comes together, I'll take my dough hook, put that in the dough, and then set a timer for 10 minutes, and the dough hook will do all of the work for me. Then we'll wrap it in plastic wrap, let it rest for a little while, about 30 minutes to an hour, and then we'll roll it out. So let's make pasta. First, I'm gonna start with my KitchenAid, and I'm just simply gonna pour in my three eggs. Now I could break them up with a fork if I wanted to. But I'm just gonna break them up with that paddle attachment just a little bit. And then I'm going to start adding my flour. I'm going to add two cups of flour. I'm going to add it in one loaf in half cup increments. I'm going to add in my teaspoon of salt and my tablespoon of a very good olive oil. And then we're going to let that dough hook bring that dough together. And you can see it's beginning to come together. You might want to lock the mixer down. So our dough is coming together very nicely. We're going to turn it off. Knock all that off. Then we'll take our hand and kind of form it together into a little bit better ball. And then we're going to put our dough hook in. Now, we'll lock it down and set it for 10 minutes. To cook our pasta, I have filled a stock pot two thirds of the way full with hot water. That just simply helps it to heat up a little bit faster. I'll turn it on high. I'll put the lid on just to get it to boil much quicker. Then I want to salt my water. So I want to salt my water really liberally. I always say that I want it to be slightly less salty than seawater. Then with the homemade pasta, I'll cook it for about three minutes until it begins to float just a little bit and turns a little white. And of course, if you're using store-bought pasta, you'd simply follow the directions on the package. Our pasta's been resting for a full hour, and now we're going to simply take it out of the saran wrap. And many times I can actually get away with not flouring my surface. But the first time you start, you may want to take a little bit of flour and just put that down 
on the surface that you're going to be working on. Now, I am by no means perfect to this. I have just learned this in the last few months. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to divide my pasta in quarters. And then what I do is sort of form it into nice rectangles. Then I'm going to turn on to about a level two, my pasta maker, and start it on a number one. Pull that through. And there you go. You can see it's beginning to become pasta. Then we'll go to number two, working our way all the way through till we get to eight. They say the best pasta is pasta that you can actually read through that is so thin. So little bit by little bit, we're getting it thinner and thinner. Much more easy to work with than you think it is. This is level eight. Quite in the center of the pasta maker. There's beautiful gluten molecules and what allow us to get this beautiful thin piece of pasta. I switched out the pasta maker for the noodle maker. So I'm using a KitchenAid fettuccine maker. You want to make sure that you screw it in really well. I can't tell you the first time I used it, it can fly and off. I'm going to turn it on about level two. And this is when the magic happens. So we're just going to pull that right up. We're just going to simply start going right through. And there you can begin to see the beautiful fettuccine noodles are forming. There's your fettuccine. You just lay it on plate. Look it looks. It's really very magical and it is as easy as it looks. Now we're going to start the pasta. I'm simply going to put a cup and a half of heavy cream inside of a skillet and begin to warm it almost to the boiling point. You can see the cream is just beginning to bubble a little bit. I'm going to turn it down. And then I'm going to put in the zest of one lemon. I'm going to put in about a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. I like a good bit of garlic in this recipe. I'm going to put in a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. A little bit of fresh cracked pepper. Now we're going to put in our juice of one lemon. The pasta sauce is beginning to thicken and now I'm adding my half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. If it gets too thick, just simply thin it with a little more cream. Our fettuccine has been put in our boiling water. We're letting it return to a boil. Just gently stirring it to break it up. And in about three minutes, we'll have beautiful, fresh fettuccine. When the fettuccine starts to float and turn a little white and opaque, it's done. Now it's time to drain it. Our pasta sauce is nice and thick. I've drained the pasta and I have put a little olive oil in it. Now let's unify it. So we'll just dump. So we'll just dump our pasta directly into the sauce and mix that through. Serve that with a beautiful garnish of parsley, maybe a little bit more Parmesan and a nice Chardonnay. What could be better? Bon appetit.